Hey, this is Niladri once again, and in this video, we'll try to map something to identify how much time each story is taking in development. So, what we can do, you can do some calculations based on when it was entered in particular state and when it is exiting from the particular state. Now, how we can do that? You need to store some data. So, for example, in this particular board, we want to capture all the stories where how much time it is spending in development. So, when it is coming into the development, when it is moving into the development, and we can subtract that value and get that. So, by default, uh, we will not be able to have a calculations to subtract it. But if you can save the two value that it was entered in development at this time, exit at this time, we will be able to do that. So, how we can do that? Let's try to understand. We need to create two fields to capture the data. So, I will be creating two fields and I'll go into administration over here. This is what we are having. And I will be going into issues and go into custom fields. And I'll create one custom field. And over here, I will try to uh, select uh, instead of DT picker. I can do DT picker. Okay, let's take a um, user a uh, date time picker that will be uh, date picker or actually the date time picker. This is what we will be using and the value I will be giving it as let's say uh, entry uh, dev started. All right, so this is the name I have given and create. I am not placing it any screen as of now. I don't need to show it any screen. I'll go back and create one more field so, and the custom fields. So I'll go into the custom fields, create custom field. I'll select this date time picker, create and say div completed. All right, two of these fields are now created. Now I can actually make them uh, read only from my configuration so that it cannot be changed outside. But I'm not uh, looking into that first. Let's try to see how we can work on them from our workflows. Within our workflows, uh, the workflow that we were looking for, this is safe user story workflow. So I will try to edit this workflow. And over here, what I can see within that workflow, there are multiple transitions going on. So whenever a story will move from design to development from this transition, I will create something. I'll create a post function. So this is my post functions. I will be adding a one post function here. Post function is something execute at once this transition happens. So I'll add a post function. Over here, I'll say update uh, issue custom field, add. And then it will ask to choose the field. I'll say dev started. And I can use the car this value, percent percent current. So this is my custom value. And I don't want to append it. It will replace it. I'll just add it over here. Now this one is done. I'll publish this draft. I don't want to keep a backup, uh, but anyway, I'll just publish it. What happened? All right. So this is now published. I will again go into the diagram mode and once it will be ending, I will be changing another transition. So let me click on this. I'll first need to edit it. I'll click on edit. And then once it will be come into the edit mode, I will use these transitions when it is exiting from the development. I'll have a post function, add a post function, and I will update a issue custom field. Then I'll select the custom field as dev completed. And then I will use the same value percent percent current date and time add all right so this is now saved i will finally publish it all right my workflow is now published 
what I will be looking into now is we'll try to see whether it is working or not. So I'll go back to my project. And over here, I can also make a filter where I will be looking into the data that I have. So this is um, the story for the project, for example, uh, what's the filter I have? I'll just quickly look into the filters. And this is the enter filters I have. So I'll click on edit filter query and I can see whatever the data coming up. I will be adding these two custom fields that I have added. So I'll say dev started timestamp and dev completed timestamp. So these are the two fields that I have. I will be moving them in a proper order. So dev completed should be come up later. why this one is not moving yeah now it's came up they've started is first and as i can see all of them uh, there are 27 records and none of them have these data entered right even we have done multiple uh, movement earlier so let's move some movement and see what happened so i'll be moving this story uh, let's say this story i'll moving it to uh, analysis then design and then I'll move it to development. So this is now in development. It's not exit in from the development. I'll quickly see how my filter is looks like. I can see this dev is came up as just now. The value is came up. And now once uh, you will, uh, Jira shows this data in that format. If I move another one, let's try to do that. I will add another story. And if I look into my filter, now you will be able to see there will be two records where you can see this one is also having I have filtered it, uh, shorted it in a way so that it will come up at the top. Now if I move something from development to testing, this is story two. And if I wants to look into that story two, okay, it's not yet refreshed. Okay, this one is not coming up maybe that one will be coming up okay okay so this one the post function is not working for story 2 i'll have to check what happened so if i go back to my workflows and let me just quickly refresh this workflow and over here if i click on edit i just need to verify the post function what do i have Oh, sorry, I have not published this. That's why the problem is coming up. All right. Now I have published it. It should work now. If I, uh, let's say, move this story to testing and go into filter. Okay, there are some values coming up. I'll remove something. I'll just remove uh, this parent from here so that I will be having little more space. All right, so is it still not coming? Dev completed is not coming up. We need to quickly analyze what happened. We have some stories and in our workflow, when I'm saying a develop uh, item should be move out, if I click on edit, and if i look into the transitions i can see the post function is there and the development uh, okay so the field i have selected is a wrong field so i'll have to change the field name to dev completed instead of that d e v dev completed yeah this is the field i had to select and i'll work on that i'll publish this draft publish all right so that was my mistake i have not uh, selected the right field so i'll just move one uh, more transitions over here so i'll start moving it here then i will start moving it here and once i have moved it to this development i think third story will be coming up in the list now, if I move them to testing, 
this story should be come up over there as well yeah now you can see the dev completed is also at just now so if you have both of these two values you will very easily identify on your reporting if you have that kind of reporting tools where you can add or subtract two column values you will be able to get the number and if you don't have you can simply export the data as current field csv so this export once you will export it you will be able to see these two values are coming up as date and time and if i just subtract them that this minus this it will show me in milliseconds actually so this is divided by 1000 that is the time it takes those number is very less so ideally if you have a good uh, value for example this was completed instead of 6 8 it was completed on 8 8 now if you subtract that this minus this you will get a number of these days right so this is what uh, the total uh, days or times it has spent so you can use some as of now in excel if you just convert them to date and time and then you can uh, make a formula where is my jira gone you can capture for any particular items how much time they are spending in particular columns if you think that is important for you you can apply these steps all right great so this is all for this particular video we will come up with some new jira tips and tricks or some other areas in our next video till that time have a wonderful day bye bye